good morning children i hope you all are good and safe uh, i welcome you for the social science class today we are going to see about rocks and soils in the first chapter in geography already in the last class uh, we discussed the advent of europeans in the history and today we are going to see geography right so let me start the lesson rocks and soils so you all know about rocks right you have been seen it many times and soil soil is very essential for us right without it no plantation or agriculture so soil is very important for us so we will see how rocks and soils are uh, important to us what are the nature of that uh, why it is important to preserve to protect all those natural resources in this chapter so let me read out the introduction part have you ever noticed any mountains or rocks nearby your location or during your travel so they are asking you a question have you ever noticed any rocks or mountains near your location but in chennai we don't find that much uh, rocks or mountains in our area right but when, when we travel to some other places in train or in bus uh, we used to see many rocks and mountains right so also have you ever been to any hill station during a vacation time so during ma- uh, may or april month holidays we used to visit any um, hill hill stations right like uti kode canal so have you ever gone there okay so if you have gone through there have you noticed about have you seen all these things how it is made how it came like this hmm? and uh, if you if you have gone to any temple also that uh, building will be different right the rocks also the stones all will be different so uh, some f- uh, temples buildings roads flyovers uh, so what kind of material has been used for it for building have you ever thought of it so they are asking question you just uh, think about it hmm? so in this lesson we will learn about the rocks and soils the rocks are the solid materials forming a part of the surface of the earth and other similar planets the earth's crust is composed of rocks so the rocks are the solid materials they are very solid they are very hard materials so they are formed as a part of the surface of the earth right so the earth's crust the upper layer of the earth okay is called crust lithosphere it is composed of rocks a rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals it is an total amount so rock is not combined of any one material it is an aggregation means uh, many uh, things in a sum in a total of many minerals rock is an important natural resource and is found in solid state so it is an important natural resource okay naturally it is formed it is an very important thing it is in solid state now we'll see the classification of uh, rocks we have three types of rocks the first one is igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks okay now we'll go for the igneous rocks the igneous rocks are formed by the solidification of molten magma these rocks are also called primary rocks or parent rocks as all other rocks are found from these rocks formed from these rocks so igneous rocks it is formed by the solidification of molten magma magma in the sense like uh, lava it's an example uh, right a uh, fire igneous is derived from the latin word ignis means fire so it is formed uh, by the um, solidification of magma molten magma so, in mean, a fire state like uh, example is volcano lava the lava erupts from the volcano right so igneous rocks is that type of rocks uh, the characteristics of igneous rocks are they are very hard in nature they th- they are unbreakable they are very hard in na- nature they do not contain any fossils fossils means dead bodies dead plants and animals the, okay waste materials that they doesn't contain all those things they are associated with the volcanic activities these rocks are useful for construction works so for construction work we can use this igneous rocks type of igneous rocks are two one is extrusive igneous rocks extrusive igneous rocks and one more is intrusive igneous rocks so in extrusive igneous rocks they have given in an example can you visualize a lava comes out from a volcano have you ever seen children lava coming out from the volcano yes you might have in some films also or you can if you want to see you can uh, google it when you go for search and just you put the 
put it means you'll get some videos also lava is actually a fiery red molten magma comes out from the interior of the earth on its surface so it is a fiery red molten magma it's a fire right it's fire only you know it comes out from the earth surface so after reaching the earth surface of the the molten materials get solidified and form rock so after it uh, reach the earth surface these ma materials no they got in a solid because when it comes like uh, lava it will be in liquid state only right something fluid type it will be but when it is uh, molten when it is molten it could become in a solid state and become rocks these are called extrusive igneous rocks next one is intrusive igneous rocks the molten magma sometimes cool down deep inside earth's crust and become solid the rocks formed this way is called intrusive rocks so when sometimes it comes out and gets cool okay and that is called intrusive igneous rocks right so in igneous uh, we have seen two character two types extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks next we'll see about the sedimentary rocks the word sedimentary has been derived from the latin word sedimentum means settling down so sedimentary means it derived from the latin word sedimentums the meaning is settling down so it is settled down the sedimentary rocks are formed by the sediments derived and deposited by various agents so this rocks no they are formed by the sediments the settlement okay uh, which is been derived uh, derived and deposited by various agents it the characteristics are they have many layers hmm? they contain fossils like uh, many waste materials they are very soft and eroded easily when when water comes out it can be washed easily that is what eroded easily sedimentary rocks are important source of natural sources like uh, coal oil and natural gas so uh, they are very important source of these things coal oil and natural these are very important to our life right coal oil natural gas so sedimentary rocks are very important for these things in sedimentary rocks also we have three types one is organic and external is mechanical and one more is chemical sedimentary rocks the organic rocks organic sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed as a result of the decomposition of dead plants and animals it contain fossils so this uh, organic sedimentary rocks is formed by the decomposition okay destruction of dead plants and animals mechanical sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed from the disintegration of igneous and metamorphic rocks so these are formed by the integration by the merging of igneous and metamorphic rocks when both are joined this mechanical sedimentary rock is formed chemical sedimentary rocks these are formed by precipitating of minerals from water it is formed usually through evaporation of chemical rich solutions so this type of rocks is formed by the evaporation of chemical rich solution these rocks are also called evaporites it, it because it happens through evaporation right so it is called evaporites rock salt is an example for this type next we are going to see metamorphic rocks the third one is first one is igneous rocks next one this is sedimentary rocks and the third one is metamorphic rocks the word metamorphic is derived from the greek word meta and morpha meta means change morpha means shape so changing the shape is called metamorphic rocks when igneous and sedimentary rocks subject to high pressure and temperature the original rocks get altered to a form a new kind of rock called form a new kind of rock called metamorphic so when already we have seen two types right igneous and sedimentary when these temperature when these two rocks subject to high temperature and pressure the original rock no they get altered and started to form as a new one new kind of rock that is called metamorphic rocks this metamorphic rock also have two types one is thermal and another one is dynamic in the thermal no if the change in the rocks is mainly caused by high temperature high temperature high heat level that is called thermal if the change in rock is mainly caused by high pressure okay that then it is called dynamic morphism metamorph 
next we are going to see about the uses of rocks rocks have been used for mankind throughout the history so mankind use this rocks for many purpose for example cement to make cement right shock writing shock firework building material bath scrub ornament roofing materials decorative materials for all these purpose we are using rocks next we are going to see about soil how soil is formed soil and its formation soil is a mixture of organic matter minerals gases liquids and organism that together supports life so soil is not only a single material combined of a single or two materials it is combined of minerals gases liquids and organisms okay that is what support life soil minerals form the basis of soil it forms on the surface of the earth it is known as the skin of the earth soil minerals okay they are the basis for soil and that is why it's called skin of the earth water wind temperature change gravity chemical interaction living organisms and pressure differences all help break down parent material it leads to the formation of loose material in course of time they further break down into fine particles these progress release the minerals locked into the rock rock fragments so water wind gravity change in chemical interaction all these no they all break down and lead to form a loose material okay that is called soil now we are going to see about the classification of soil so soils are classified into many types hmm? they are alluvial soil black soil red soil laterite soil mountain soil desert soil right hmm. so now we'll see alluvial soil these soils are found in the regions of rich uh, river valleys flood plains and coastal regions so these are alluvial soil are found in river valleys flood plains and coastal regions in the coastal regions and all we'll find some point some uh, type of soil that is called alluvial soil it is suitable for the cultivation of sugar cane jute rice wheat and other food crops now next one is black soil black soil it is formed by the weathering of igneous rocks so we have seen no igneous rocks hmm it is formed by that black soil is a clay in nature it is ideal of growing cotton so it will be like a clay type some have you seen clay children so it is like that type it is used for growing cotton next we are going to see about red soil these soils are formed by weathering of metamorphic rocks and crystalline rocks the presence of iron oxide makes the soil brown or red in color so this red soil is formed by the metamorphic and crystalline rocks okay so it will be in red color it is not a fertile soil so it is not fertile uh, that much fertile like we saw black and alluvial soil but it is suitable for millet cultivation mm -hmm. next we are going to say laterite soil uh, this soil no are found in the regions which experience alternate wet and dry condi uh, condition so alternate wet and dry condition both the wet and dry condition wherever it is it is so this soil is suitable for plantation of coffee and tea next we are going to see about mountain soil these soils are found over the slopes of mountain we have seen mountain areas and all no hilly regions and all so that is called mountain soil soil in these regions are thin and acidic however characteristics of soil differs from region to region based on the altitude but uh, but uh, these no they will be very thin thin in nature but it differs from region to region the soil found in ooty and kodaikanal is differ from the soil which we found in other states like jammu kashmir and there that is also a hilly region only but it differs according to the region and the final thing is desert soil so we have thar desert in our country right rajasthan they are sandy soil found in the hot desert region these soil are porous and saline since it is infertile agriculture in these soil are not so successful so these are found in desert area okay so there we can't do any cultivation so it is not uh, that much uh, fertile as uh, we saw all the other soils mm -hmm. so it is uh, cultivation is not successful there mm -hmm. next we are going to see about soil erosion so here many times uh, soil erosion occurs right we'll see soil erosion is the removal or destruction of the top layer of soil by natural forces and human activities so soil erosion it is an removal or destruction okay 
and de destruction of the top layer and the soil has many layers in it so destruction of the top layer uh, by natural forces or sometimes by human activities when they dig more and more soil sand and all no it took uh, this natural uh, soil erosion would occurs mm, that's all because of human activities mm. soil erosion reduces the fertility of soil which in turn reduces agriculture productivity running water which are, uh, are the major agents of soil erosion um, so fertile uh, soil erosion it reduces the fertility of soil so the fertility it has some fertility in it no without that fertility agriculture is not possible when soil erosion occurs that fertility that um, primary thing of the soil will be reduced and agriculture would not be successful so it is our duty to conserve the soil okay conservation of soil is very important hmm. so now we'll see the uses of soil the minerals present in the soil helps and nourishes the crops and plants so it helps the crops and plants to grow the minerals present in the soil when you plant a small creep or a small plant also it would uh, grow in a very uh, large manner right that is all because of the minerals present in the soil next one is it is used for ceramics or pottery so pots also we'll use some uh, clay uh, sand like right so black soil mm -hmm. next it is a source of material for construction and handicraft work so it is also used for some construction work uh, it is uh, act also act as a natural filter of water and purify it you can also do an experiment you just uh, fill a bucket or a bottle with water uh, with the sand and you can purify the water also when you pour the water at last it can be filtered so it can be used as a natural filter soil supports ecosystem and play an important role in land management so it is uh, plays an important role in land management also so the soil resources are very much important for humans life okay so in this chapter we have seen uh, about rocks rocks are the aggregate of one or more minerals and about sedimentary rocks it is derived from the latin word sedimentum means settling down mm -hmm. igneous rock igneous rocks are the primary rocks formed first on the earth okay solid soil is a mixture of organic matter minerals gases liquids and organism that together support life okay children just go through this uh, notes which i sent you send you and learn the questions also okay i hope you would have understand this class thank you children